The recent selling of Ukrainian power supply stations by Russia has severely disrupted normal activities in the European country as citizens struggle to access electricity. Now, amid this situation, authorities have provided temporary power supply centers where people could meet to conduct their usual services. The lack of adequate electricity supply has become a nightmare for millions of households, especially vulnerable groups. Let's have more details of that in this report. Ludmila Dazuk comes to this temporary centre every day. She has no electricity at home, but at this place she has internet access throughout the day. As a sales manager, she plans to stay here until her work is complete. I can't even imagine how it would be without this place, because my work is dependent on electricity. I'm communicating with clients from all over Ukraine using my laptop, so if I can't work, it will affect my salary. The less you sell, the less you earn. Hundreds of these centers have opened up across Ukraine. They're known as points of invincibility and provide electricity, heat and even food and drink to everyone for free. It's part of a pledge by President Volodymyr Zelensky to keep life running as smoothly as possible in the face of missile strikes on the country's power stations. At the moment, Ukraine is only producing 70% of the electricity it needs. Around two-thirds of that is being used to maintain essential services such as hospitals and businesses. And that is why millions of households across the country are still experiencing scheduled power cuts. And the Kyiv region is one of the worst hit. For the elderly and vulnerable, a lack of electricity can have serious consequences. Mikhaila Motruk queues up in the freezing cold for a small tub of soup every day. The 62-year-old retired engineer lives alone. Without the help of local charities, he would not be able to eat. I can't cook because I have an electric cooker, so this is my first hot meal in two days. The power cuts have really affected my life. At least I have cold water now, though. Before, there was no water at all. My life has turned upside down. Authorities say it could take up to eight months to restore the country's entire electricity grid. Until then, Mikola and others like him have no choice but to depend on the help of others to get by.